All right, guys. So recently, at the time of this recording, Cycle Cruiser put out a video of why you should not get a cruiser. So, in today's video, I'm going to give you five reasons why you should get a cruiser. Depending on when this video comes out, it'll probably be around my birthday. So, <laughs> we'll see whenever it comes out. But first, let's roll the intro. What's up guys? Dapper Dan here. Another beautiful day here in Colorado. It's currently late September at the time of this recording. And we still got pretty decent weather. I don't know what it's supposed to get up to today, but it's like 65 right now. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let me uh, preface this video by saying, I mean, I have uh, obviously have my bobber, but I'm not the biggest fan of cruisers. They all kind of look the same. You gotta make them look different, like the bobbers. Where I'm starting to actually get into like uh, big wheel baggers. I don't know why. I used to hate baggers. <laughs> but I'm starting to get into them. They're starting to look cool. But I don't have like $25,000 that I want to spend on a motorcycle, so probably won't get one. <laughs> Alright, so you guys, here is five reasons why you should get a cruiser motorcycle and the number five reason why you should get a cruiser motorcycle you guys might be able to see my list because it's in hyper view but, but we'll see all right so the number five reason why you should get a cruiser motorcycle is the seat height um, they're super low to the ground yes they are heavy but they're super low to the ground and you can easily flat put any of them like I think some of the tallest ones are at max like 28, 29 inches from the ground and that's nothing. Like all sport bikes are usually 30 and a half, 31, sometimes even 32 seat height, 32 inches seat heights. So the seat height on the cruiser is low to the ground, you can easily flat foot it and having that weight low to the ground actually makes it easier to control at low speeds so yeah that's all good for especially new riders I mean anybody new riders old people tend to gravitate more towards cruisers um, just because they're easy to handle and the number four reason to get a cruiser is Generally, they are extremely comfortable. Like the feet forward uh, riding position, normally the bars are like up here and a little closer to you. I have drag bars on mine, so I'm still bent over a little bit. Ooh, listen to that sound. That would have been a perfect opportunity. <laughs> hey, I got a wave. <laughs> forward and low seat height make them comfortable to ride for anybody and normally it's more upright position if you have stock bars and not drag bars like I do for a little bit for a few seconds I should say <laughs> the number three reason to get a cruiser motorcycle is the sound like especially Harley Davidson's they just have that low deep rumble like who doesn't love that sound right there some of them 
not mine obviously my idol's a little high but some of them when they're idling they sound like they have a cam I just love that low deep sound on any vehicle not just motorcycles that's why that's the main reason I got the R1 because that crossplane has like a low sound it sounds awesome it sounds like a mini V8 some people do put cams in their cruisers and make it sound even more choppy. Most people just lower the idle though. <laughs> somebody, when I was doing the reveal video, somebody got it pretty much exactly on just by the sound. They guessed in a, a Japanese cruiser or a metric cruiser, that was their exact words. And I was like, holy crap, that was surprisingly right on this guy's bumper is about to fly off I need to put some uh, zip ties on there <laughs> alright let's see if we can get up to this other guy and see the sound of his alright well I'm pulling our clutch and see if we can get the sound of his ready I guess his isn't, isn't very loud. Never mind. You guys probably didn't hear nothing. Anyway, normally they sound really good. He's also got a chick on the back, which brings me to the number two reason of why you should get a cruiser. And that is women love cruisers. I don't know why still. You guys saw my video a couple weeks ago specifically dedicated to that but women love cruisers I can't tell you the number of girls who have asked for a ride on this bike just because it's a cruiser the people in general you guys could saw that uh, lady that was the construction flagger when I was getting on the highway she even gave me a wave just people love cruisers I don't know what it is oh never mind there's another trick on my back Hey, what's up guy? Ooh, I like that. Golly, that looks so good. Woo! That Mustang was so nice. Hey. See, just like that guy, it's like a cruiser brotherhood, but they wave at all the other cruisers. Everybody in general loves cruisers. Jeez, why is gas prices going up? $2.59 now. Alright, now that we're off the highway for a second, that brings us to our number one point of why you should get a cruiser. And that is, cops literally ignore them. Like, <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I have sped past a cop doing at least 10 over and nothing. No lights, no whoop whoop, nothing. There's even been one time um, <laughs> on the highway, which was not a smart idea, especially on a cruiser, because you don't got horsepower to get away. Got the torque down low, but not on the highway. There's even one time on the highway, I lane split past a cop. He didn't fl on accident. <laughs> I didn't see him there. <laughs> he didn't flip on his lights or nothing. just completely ignored me but I came up to him and I'm like oh crap that's a cop well I'm already here may as well keep on going <laughs> so yeah lane split past a cop nothing at all so cops will completely ignore you like I don't know they'd rather chase down a sport bike than go after a cruiser I don't know if they expect like cruisers to be all old guys or what yeah so I don't know what it is but cops will just not pay attention to cruisers yeah so if you could have like a really fast cruiser that'd pretty much be the perfect bike like a v-rod or something like inconspicuous like a big bar kit on one of them or something 
That'd be like the perfect bike. Because <laughs> cops would just ignore you. <laughs> you could get away with whatever you wanted. This guy obviously, uh... <laughs> yep, does that all the time. He never cleans his tailgate. <laughs> Nyuk, yuck. yuck. You need to go faster. Why is there such a huge gap between you and the car in front of you? This guy's in a giant RV. He's got Harley Davidson motorcycles, mud flaps. I bet you he doesn't even have a Harley. Yeah, so it's kind of like a situation like this. Like the speed limit was 65 and everybody was doing like 50. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go right through them all. And went past the truck in the middle and on the other side just happened to be a cop. And I was like, well, we're already here. Let's keep on going. So I just pinned it, kept on going. There was like six more cars that I passed. And then there was finally an opening where I was able to do the speed limit finally. <laughs> and just kept on going. No lights or nothing. Well you guys, that's pretty much gonna conclude this video of five reasons why you should get a cruiser style motorcycle. If you guys enjoyed today's video or found it helpful in any way, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Hey. <laughs> See, I get waves from everybody on this bike. <laughs>